Families are certainly waiting on pins and needles for a resolution in this case. Both families clearly wanting something very different. But today, the defense is going to argue that it was juror misconduct that ultimately led to their client being found guilty. Just in fortune now. Supporters of convicted killer Chanel Lewis are hoping a Hail Mary pass by the fence will keep the 22-year-old out of state prison. Today, his attorneys will present evidence in Supreme Court alleging that juror misconduct led to a guilty verdict earlier this month. The unidentified juror's attorney told the New York Times, quote, he was bullied in the jury room. That is an insane coercive atmosphere for any juror to be in. The juror telling the Times he felt pressure to convict Lewis of killing and sexually assaulting Queens jogger Karina Vetrano, explaining why he helped reach the verdict in five hours, saying, I was getting flustered, having migraines. I felt I needed to get out of there. The juror said he was the final holdout and still doubts Lewis is guilty, saying, quote, This is bigger than Chanel Lewis. I'm standing up to the system, showing people what the inside of a jury room is really like. It's the latest twist in a case that rocked the city in August of 2016. The first trial ended in a hung jury and claims that Lewis's confession was coerced and the DNA evidence was tainted. DNA can be planted anywhere. His mother believes he was framed amid pressure to find a suspect. My son, Chanel Lewis, is innocent. That's right. Yeah, and that's right. all I want for my son, all I want for my son is justice. From the start, this case has been scrutinized under a microscope. However, prosecutors and investigators say everything was done by the book here and that this conviction should be upheld. If that's ultimately decided by the judge today to be the case, sentencing for Chanel Lewis will go forward tomorrow.